Do packing cubes offer any advantage when packing for travel? And do they save space? In this video, I'm gonna break down some of the advantages of packing with packing cubes. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of packing the same suitcase with packing cubes and without packing cubes. So you can be the judge. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Nick here from Away Together. I've been a carry-on only packer for probably a decade now and packing cubes have been a pretty consistent part of my repertoire. Throughout this video, you're gonna see some different packing cube options and I just wanted to mention, this video is not sponsored in any way. The opinions you're hearing are expressly my own, but I did link to those items down below in case you wanna check them out. Okay, so what are packing cubes and what are they meant to be used for? A packing cube is essentially a fabric pouch that is meant to help you organize and compartmentalize clothing and other items in your luggage. There's all this debate about whether or not packing cubes save space and whether or not you should use them. And honestly, I feel like people are kind of missing the point. I do have an opinion about whether or not they save space and I'm gonna get into that. But first and foremost, packing cubes are meant to help you organize and compartmentalize your luggage. So let's talk about that. If you're watching this, I'm gonna assume that you've moved at least once in your life. And when you did that, you probably put at least some of your belongings into boxes. Why? Well, it made things easier, right? It allowed you to take fewer trips to and from the truck. It allowed you to group like items together. It took things that were a vast array of different sizes and shapes and made them somewhat uniform so that you could stack them up. And this isn't a perfect analogy, but many of the benefits of packing cubes are the same. When you use packing cubes, you can group like items together. With packing cubes, I can pack my shirts separate from my undergarments. I think most people use some kind of bag or compartment to house their toiletries. Packing cubes essentially allows you to do the same thing for your clothing. One of my favorite things about packing cubes is that this extra layer of fabric can be helpful if your bag is coming into contact with moisture. Most packing cubes are made of nylon or polyester, so they certainly aren't waterproof unless you're using some kind of waterproof bag or something like that. But I've had to pull my carry-on through pouring rain before. Okay. And even most hard shell carry-ons will soak through and get wet eventually. So having packing cubes adds this extra layer of moisture resistance to keep your clothing from getting damp. In the same vein, if you're taking a trip and you bring some workout clothes with you, having a separate smaller packing cube just for those workout clothes is a great way to keep your clean clothes from getting sweaty or smelly. A lot of packing cube sets also come with a laundry bag, which is the same principle. It's just separating your clean from your dirty. Here's a couple of myths and mistakes surrounding packing cubes. The first is wrinkle resistance. I've heard people say that packing cubes offer this level of wrinkle resistance that not using them doesn't offer. Debatable. I'm not gonna say that your clothing gets more wrinkled in packing cubes, but in my experience, they really don't offer much wrinkle resistance. Two, you should pack everything in a packing cube. Dumb. It just depends by item. I think a perfect example of this is jeans and denim, right? The best way to pack a pair of jeans is probably just to fold it and lay it flat. I don't think a packing cube is gonna help much. Actually, probably the best way to pack denim is to wear it on the plane to save space in your bag. It just depends by item. You gotta test and iterate and figure out what works for you. Okay, this is probably why you clicked on this video. Do packing cubes actually save you space? They can, but in my experience, it depends on what kind you use. Regular old packing cubes offer all the benefits of everything that I mentioned before, but if you wanna save space, what you wanna use are compression packing cubes. Compression packing cubes squeeze everything down and they allow you to pack your items as small as they will possibly go. You see it's like a normal packing cube, but it's got this zipper right here, so you can squeeze everything out of it, right? Look how slim that is. So this is a brand of packing cubes that I'm testing out right now. These are by Tripped 
travel gear. These are compression cubes. They're a good price. They're durable. I used them on a recent trip and I'm really liking them so far. Um, I'm actually going to use these in the side-by-side -side test today. So in that test, I'm going to use these packing cubes and my Monos Carry On Plus. I'm going to pack as if I would be packing for a two-week trip to Europe. And in both screens, I'm going to use the exact same items. If you're curious about what I pack for a trip like that, I've actually made a video about that before. You can find that here. And if you're interested in a free downloadable packing list, it's linked below. Let's do this. Okay, that was the test. You could probably see that the packing cube version was definitely more organized and more compartmentalized. You may have also noticed that I packed some workout gear and all of those went into their own separate packing cube. Another thing is uh, I like to use the roll method and that's another advantage that packing cubes offer is they keep your clothing that you roll up from coming unrolled. If you go camping at the end of your camping trip when you're packing everything up, if you roll up your sleeping bag, you're probably not just tossing it into the back of your car. You're probably gonna insert it into a sleeve or tie it up so it doesn't come unrolled. Packing cubes offer the same advantage if you like the roll method. From a space saving standpoint, it was a bit of a wash, to be honest with you. You could maybe say that compression cubes offered a slight advantage, but it was pretty negligible. In other side-by-side -side comparisons I've seen, it's mostly been not using packing cubes versus regular packing cubes. And in those, not using packing cubes always save space because packing cubes are like big and thick. So my verdict and my recommendation to you is if you would like some of the advantages and benefits we've discussed of packing cubes, but you don't want it to take up more space, then use compression cubes. That's what I'm gonna do. If you have something else that's worked really well for you, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoy tips like this, please subscribe to our channel. See you next time.